Welcome to this video in which I'm going to be creating a ruler using Techsoft 2D design um, and I'm going to be laser cutting it. So here are some simple specifications I have for my ruler and I'm just going to begin by getting the overall uh, shape of the ruler. As you can see in the specifications it must accurately measure up to 20 centimeters and must have a width of 35 millimeters. So let's come to my rectangle tool up here um, and I'm going to start at the origin here in this bottom left corner of the drawing area 0 0. You'll notice in the bottom of the window where it says absolute grid references it's currently blank but if I bring my mouse pointer up to the origin the absolute grid reference is now 0 in the X and 0 in the Y. So let's now click with the mouse, let's extend out the shape of this rectangle. I'm going to move to the right here until I get to an X value of 200 and I'm going to move up until I get to a Y value of 35. So this rectangle now is 200 millimeters in length by 35 millimeters in height. And I'm going to prove that right now by coming to the dimension line tool. Okay, I'm going to click in the bottom left, click the bottom right, bring down there. I can see that is 200 millimeters in the X direction. And if I click here and I click here I can see my height is 35. Now um, I'm actually going to change this slightly because if I if I actually think about having a ruler uh, that's going to measure up to 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters um, then actually what I want to do is I want to start the the first increment for my measuring slightly indented from the side so this would be my zero point and then I actually want to finish slightly before the end of the ruler so that would be my 20 centimeters point but of course if I put a dimension line that measures the length of those two lines, I can see that's 190. So what I'm going to have to do here is actually make my ruler one centimeter or 10 millimeters longer so that I have this little edge at the end here um, before I actually start my measurements. So let's just delete any and get rid of that. Okay, so let's now just select this uh, rectangle. Let's extend this out with a resize handle here, five, 10. Now at this point, just have a look at the, at the relative relative accrued references down here. You can see that as I extend that to the right 5 and then 10 millimeters, the X relative size increases by 10. Okay, let's click there and let's just confirm what is happening here. Can I extend that out? Yes, I can. I can now see that that is 210. Let's put that dimension line back in again there. I don't know why I deleted that really. Let's put that back to there. Okay, so I actually want this to be 200 millimeters in length, which means that this line will come to the end. So just to confirm here, that means that this will be zero on my ruler. This will be 20 centimeters on my ruler. And I've got this little margin at the end, at the beginning and the end of my ruler, um, which I think is what most rulers are like, really. Um, okay, so that's looking good. Uh, what do I do with this? Can I just scale that down a little bit? There you go. In fact, I don't like the fact that they're kind of big and bold. I'm actually going to select that. I'm going to shift select and shift select all those values. And then I think I'm going to come here to line color and make that pale gray. There we go. That's just nice little faint dimension lines. I like that. Right. So let's keep going. Um, now I've already got on here the fact that it's going to uh, it's going to measure up to 20 centimeters w uh, in one millimeter increments. Okay. So how's that going to look? Well, let's just zoom in here with this zoom in tool. I'm now going to click once, click twice, and there we go. Uh, that's now zoomed in, so I've got a little bit more control. So I'm going to try and draw some more lines along along here for these increments. Um, so let's just get a basic idea down here. You know, I could do a series of lines here. Each of these is going to be one centimeter apart. That's looking rather good. Um, but then I've got to have all my millimeter increments. And you can see here, I'm kind of, it's, it's snapping at the moment to the grid. And the reason for that is because up here, I've got grid lock on. Um, and if I right click on grid lock, I can see that that means that my standard grid spacing is every five millimeters and my step spacing is every one millimeter. Well, here's step lock. So let's just confirm that. Let's come to step lock. And now, yeah, now, look, now I've got millimeter by millimeter control. Fantastic. So let's just click here and I'm going to make this, I'm thinking every five millimeters or every half centimeter, there should be a slightly shorter line. So let's just do 
that. That's looking really good. Uh, and then now, of course, I need to have my millimeter control. So, yeah, that's actually. I'm going to have those even shorter again. This is actually quite difficult to control with my mouse. So let's let's zoom in more now. So I've got even better control. There you go. So that's this is zero. That's one, two, three. Four, and then the five is slightly longer. Okay, well, you know, I, I could keep doing this, but it's going to get really quite laborious, and I'm going to get some hand strain. So there's got to be an easier way, hasn't there? Well, let's have a see. If I, let me see, if, if I just get rid of all those other lines that I've created there, and I'm also going to get rid of that line there, you'll see why in a second, I can now select those lines. I can do Edit and Copy, or Control c and Edit paste or control V and I can now snap that into there. In fact actually if I turn on grid lock at this point now I'll select all of those control C control V and look that ready is going to go and snap into that position there. So let's just zoom back to my last view. Let's select all of those control C control V yeah and then select all of those control C control V well, that makes my life much easier. And then how many centimeters left here? One, two, three, four left. So let me see. If I just go one, two, three, four. And now I want to include that last longer centimeter line because that's going to go on the end. In fact, do I? No, because look, I've got that one there. Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you what. I I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it. That's where it wants to be. But I've already got a line there. So I'm going to delete that line. And then let's pick that up again. And let's just drop it in. Okay, that's looking pretty awesome. Now, uh, let's have a look. Um, at the moment, we've got all the measurements, but I don't actually, you know, if I wanted to measure exactly seven centimeters, where are seven centimeters on this scale? Yeah, I'd have to kind of count the long lines, wouldn't I? Well, of course, on rulers, you have numbers. So let's look at that. Let's come to the, the text tool here. I'm going to, I've got gridlock turned on here, haven't I? Let's just drop a number there, um, and I'm going to put a zero. Um, let's look at the settings here. Uh, I'm going to put that to four millimeters, um, and I'm going to have that, I'll have that as bold. Okay, it's not quite in the right position, is it really? So let's come to step lock, and let's pick that up, and let's just try and reposition that a little bit better. Yeah, it's not giving me ultimate control there, is it? Hmm. I'll have to come back to that. I think one up uh, there. I'm pixel peeping now, but let's just go with that for the time being. Okay, so let's have a see what I can do. Um, I'm going to have this bold number every five centimeters. Now I could copy it and I could paste it, but I'm going to show you a different technique. Over on the side here, you've got a transformation tool. Yours probably looks like this. But if you mouse over it, you can see it says transform. If I hold my left, my left mouse button down, the menu expands. I've got a whole bunch of transformation tools here. I want to go to the drawer rectangular array. Uh, I've got this zero selected already. So if you, if you get a funny message there that looks like this, well, let's get the selection tool, select the number, go to the rectangular array. Okay, so I've already been playing around here, but I, how many columns do I want to have here? Um, I want to have a total of five because I've got zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's five columns in the X. Um, n only one row because it's just the one row in the Y. And my spacing here is going to be 50 millimeters and the Y spacing doesn't matter. It's going to be one row. So let's confirm that. That's looking rather good. Now, if I come to this properties, let's make that five. Properties, ten. Okay, and so on, and so forth. Okay, and I can see here that these last three numbers don't quite align because, well, it's aligned to the left and it's kind of spaced out to the right. So let's pick that up all together and let's just try and bring that across. I'm liking that. I think that works really, really well. Super, okay. Uh, right, now I'm going to have my uh, the, the integers between 0 and 5. And between 5 and 10, etc. So how am I going to do that? Well, let's just come back to my tool again. Let's draw here. That's going to be a 1 settings. And I want this to stand out a little less. So I'm going to make this 
narrow. Okay, so everything else is going to be the same. Let's have a see how that looks. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. Okay, let's bring that to the left there. Okay, so again, I'm going to select that uh, a rectangular array. I want to have, uh, let's have a see, numbers one, two, three, four. So four columns now with an X spacing of 10. Okay, and then now what I can do is modify this to be two. Do this very quickly. And of course, four goes there. Okay, I like that. So we have a nice bold uh, number on 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and all the increments go here. Now, to get these across, of course, I can now copy that. I can paste it. Now, at th this point, I've got step lock on, which means it's going to be really difficult to try and get that in the right place. So you know what? I'm going to delete that. I'm going to turn on grid lock. I'm going to paste it again. And now look what happens. It just lines up perfectly. And of course, now all I need to do is just change those numbers uh, accordingly. I'll just finish this and then I'm going to not worry in this video about the numbers 11 to 19 because, well, you all know how to count. Okay, so that's looking really cool. Um, I'm just going to uh, look at the next point here. Um, it should be comfortable to uh, to use. Okay, so how can we make this comfortable? Well, I'm going to put some rounded corners on here. So let's have a look here. Um, again, you, you won't see this tool. I've been fiddling around. What you'll see is uh, in cell B2, you'll see this arcs tool. But if I hold the mouse button down, if I go right to the end, there's a fillet tool. And, uh, and I'm going to put a radius in here of three millimeters. And now what I'm going to do is click on this vertical edge and then this top line and it just puts this rounds off this corner with a lovely little, lovely lovely little fillet let's do the same there click 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 and click so that's made it look really nice that I'm liking that a lot um, and then finally here it should be stylized to match the desires of the client well you know what um, that depends on your client and you can go ahead and stylize this perhaps with some text or some images that's going to be for another time I'm not going to go any further with this. I'm just going to do one more little modification here with gridlock turned on just so we can see exactly how this looks. Um, let's just pick this up and let's bring this up to, to here at the top. There you go. So you can really see now how that how that's looking. Oh, there is one more thing I need to do, of course. I want to laser cut this. And the way we've got our laser cutter configured is blue cuts, uh, blue, blue lines cut, red lines engrave, and black text or images um, engraves as well. Uh, so, last thing to do here so I can send it to the laser cutter, let's come to the contour tool, which is this tool here, B6. I'm going to have zero contour spacing with the graphical toolpath. My line color here is going to be blue, and I'm going to click just on the outer edge of the ruler. And it gives me a nice blue outline, so that's going to provide a cut. Let's now get the selection tool. I'm going to carefully click a bounding box around just the centimeter and millimeter incremental lines, and I'm going to change those to red. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. So, save it, send it to the laser cutter, you'll have your beautiful ruler.